everyone. This is Cody from Vet Agri Health Services. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about a case I just had. Uh, it was in a yearling bull uh, that presented on pasture with some sheath swelling. Uh, the bull is 10 days into the breeding season and the farmer noticed uh, that he came up with this uh, focal area of swelling uh, about mid shaft along his sheath and he brought him in off pasture for me to examine. So on examination, uh, the swelling was quite hard and immovable and about midway up the shaft proximal to the sigmoid flexure or the bend in the penis. Uh, based on what I saw on physical exam, uh, including a full rectal, uh, the diagnosis was a penile hematoma. So this is also referred to by producers as a broken penis. So a broken penis or penile hematoma it is a quite serious problem that bulls can get. Usually arises from fighting or from a mating injury. Uh, what happens is there's a rupture of the ligaments that are within the penis and in the corpus uh, cavernosum, the main area where the blood is stored and that's under pressure during an erection, uh, blows, out of the, blows out of the ligament in the penis and it actually causes a large hematoma. It, is likely quite painful and quite a bit of swelling occurs and that swelling actually inhibits the penis from extending outside of the sheath and the bull can't serve and plus the pain that uh, would also be exhibited probably means that he's not too keen to be breeding anymore uh, so what can happen in these cases the hematoma can actually form fibrous tissue and that fibrous tissue can constrict or block the penis uh, from exiting the sheet even once the once the hematoma resolves so it's usually in most cases uh, without surgical intervention would mean the the end of the, the breeding season for that bull well it, no question it's the end of the breeding season regardless of if it's surgery uh, the possible options are culling uh, in this case, this bull is insured uh, for breeding insurance, so that's likely the case we're going to go with here. Uh, the other options are medical treatment, so treating the, the hematoma. There's things we can do like giving anti-inflammatories to help bring down that swelling. Uh, there's some more radical medical treatments such as the use of ultrasonic waves, a, a therapeutic ultrasound that can be used to bring some of that swelling down and promote healing. And then there's also the surgical correction that's actually uh, taking and debriding the, the hematoma and trying to repair the penis as best as you can and then putting that bull on anti-inflammatories. So based on the literature, uh, surgical correction, and this is very old literature, there's not much new literature on this subject, but based on the old literature, uh, surgical correction had about a 70% uh, success rate and uh, medical correction had around a 60% success rate. Uh, it was also noted in this one particular paper that if the, if the hematoma itself was less than 20 centimeters in diameter, uh, that then the, the chance of, of uh, healing and returning to full breeding capacity was greatly increased. Uh, but based on most most of the time based on cost considerations uh, and just overall ease of handling uh, these bulls over a longer period of time uh, most producers lean towards the the culling option and like I said in this case when insurance is part of the picture uh, and the breeding insurance specifically that bull is out for the season and should be culled so what I did in this case I treated him with anti-inflammatories uh, to treat the pain and treat the inflammation uh, we put him on rest away from other bulls or cows uh, for a period of two weeks and we're gonna reevaluate him before we make the final call so on reevaluation, I will do another uh, palpation of that sheath and I'll probably also try to extend him using the electro ejaculator and if there is any constriction or indication that uh, a lot of fibrosis has set up, uh, then we'll go ahead and call him. Alright, thanks for watching guys.